Hello guys, this is the demo of our bash script uh, for Linux. So all in the Linux app, including me, MySQL, WordPress, PHP 7.3, the exact, and MariaDB. No, I'm sorry, not MySQL, but MariaDB 10.3. And the test was done on uh, Linux Debian 10.3, Buster 64-bit. So we are first, we are checking if the Linux user has a root privilege and this one now uh, check root oh uh, so the first one is to run this function and check root will be called the next one if the user is a root it will call the busy in it else it will exit uh, the script will uh, exit the uh, no, the initialization execution uh, so the first uh, process is just installing uh, needs. The next one is MySQL or to be exact is MariaDB. Okay, I don't know why it is called MySQL, but uh, the name of the package is MariaDB. I know MariaDB is like a fully open source uh, database server, and MySQL is uh, some a bit uh, private or some a bit uh, business. So MySQL is basically a, a business now, it has an enterprise server. So, but it has also a, a community server that can be used by anyone. So the next one is that we are creating a database uh, name of WordPress and a car set a set uh, a set a UTF UTF8 and create user at localhost identified by this password. Grant all the privileges of the WordPress to a WordPress at localhost. This is the database. Flash all the database. The next one is installing the PHP 7, or to be exact, it is 7.3. It includes 7.3 core, CLI, common, FPM, GD, and MySQL. The next one is to edit the Nginx config uh, PHP IME. So the ma upload max size and the client max size for Nginx, uh, post max size for post max size and upload max file size on PHP. So by doing that, we increase from the default of 2 MB to 12 to 24 MB. So 24 MB on Nginx, but on uh, PHP, uh, max of 12 MB, as you can see here. Now we are preparing a WordPress directory. We did not use the default www.html. Instead, we created our own uh, path, which is WordPress, and we created our own test file, which is for the PHP to know to be able for us to check if the PHP is actually running. So the next one is modify the bhost, modifying the bhost of the Nginx, which is uh, located at etc Nginx site uh, enabled and the default. That's the default. Uh, if there is no site enabled, this will be used by Nginx as a uh, default configuration. Of course, we are changing the root. So basically, what we do here, what what we did here, is that change the whole default config. So maybe some of you are asking, uh, wondering, uh, that why is it that it does not have HTTP? Uh, HTTP because uh, this is just a default. Uh, the main config of Nginx is located at etc. Nginx uh, slash Nginx dot c o n p or com. So this is just a the host configuration, which is a default one. So we uh, sorry. We, we also include the PHP here to be able for us to run a WordPress here. And also we include YPJSON if we are trying to use a REST API of WordPress. The next one, uh, we restart the Nginx and PHP. Of course, we did uh, some modification on, on PHP.ine and Nginx.config. We need to restart the web server and the PHP CGI. The next thing is to download the latest WordPress uh, repository or uh, the WordPress uh, compressed file and then to uh, unzip or unzip the file into this from WordPress to word bar that www wordpress and let's make sure that the w uh, that location is handled by user www data basically a user in Linux system that is handling for all the web uh, trap uh, web uh, uh, what do you mean uh, for all the web permission, so web traffic permission, something like that. So hopefully you get what I mean. But the next one is chmod, or to modify the permission, uh, file permission here at bar www wordpress, which is seven five five. The most uh, for a web server, it should be seven five five. 
So the next thing is just uh, giving you uh, a short description about the server, your local IP you can navigate, your default WordPress password. That's all. So I just SCP the file here. Sorry. On this is at the server here running at my Hyper B. So host name ctl we can get the uh, host name is debian so by using hyper b we can access the server by just typing on the browser uh let's wait okay just by typing on the browser debian.mshome.net but it is not access accessible right now because we it does not have any web server so ah we lock here on installing ufw but we will uh but you can do that on your own. UFW is app install. But I will update the repository. This is script in my GitHub. So, but you can do it. As of now, you can do app install <coughs> UFW. Then it will, if the UFW is not installed. And what you need to do is, uh, you have uh, you also have to install uh, sudo to be able for you to use the, to edit and modify the firewall. Now, uh, the next thing to do, uh, we have edit, uh, you can do so UFW, allow, and the port to open. For example, uh, sorry, uh, for example, port 80 or port 43, allow. And then after you do that, uh, sudo UFW, uh, before you do, uh, before you add your port to open, open you should UFW enable. Anyways, UFW enable then. You say you have W reload to be able for that allow uh, allow port allowed port to be open on your network. Anyways, I will put that on the description if, just to be clear. And also, I will update immediately the the uh, script repository on our GitHub. So let's just uh, run the script. So let's uh, ls. We have the lens stack that sh. Now what we need to do first is to avoid any permission error is to chmod dot lamp stack what this do is that uh, we will have this script uh, executable by a normal user or even the root user so we're done and then what we need just to do is to call because we are in the root dot slash we are calling that one now click enter Initiating update and upgrade and all the script will be initialized here. If you want the script, you can download it on our GitHub at github.com slash bytescrafter. There are no hidden script here, just a plain lamp stack. It is installing the, as you can see here, the code is pretty uh, informative. We are installing Inks, MariaDB, the latest Inks, latest MySQL. Uh, but here on PHP 7, we are installing the specific PHP 7.3. The next one is to modify the global configs to 24 of in Yinks and on PHP 12. Now, uh, from the base default of 2MB. The next one is preparing our custom directory. Instead of using bar www that, uh, uh, HTML, we created our own dir directory. You can edit this one. For example, your website server name, for example.com, like that. And then we edit this default. But if you are uh, making your own site enabled, it is better to uh, not uh, execute this one and make your own uh, site available that uh, slash example.com, something like that. You can research that on in the internet. As you can see, the script has done. Instead of typing all of this command, we just keep talking and we execute one script. That's the importance and I'm really in love with this type of uh, initiating. Imagine you can set up a whole server, replica server based on one script and that's all. So let's try to navigate. Uh, let's try to net install. Uh, let's start, I'm sorry. 2pn. This is basically checking all the running port. Rep. Listen. Okay, I'm sorry. So let's install the net tools. This is just uh, quick. Uh, quick, 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 quick. And it's done. So we will execute net tools. As you can see, the Nginx is running. SSH is default by Linux. It, it, 
it is actually running and my SQL is running and that's it let's try if you try to take notice that there are uh, 2 22 22 PCP this is basically uh, an, an internal IP this is the public uh, no, sorry sorry my mistake when uh, let's not say 0, .0, 0, 0 it is just an internal it can be only be accessed inside the machine only but if that uh, semicolon semicolon and the port it can be accessed outside so as you can see uh, any machine can access this uh, virtual machine on uh, outside using the port 80 and port 22 it means that the port 80 and 22 is actually open but by default my SQL is not open uh, externally so we can now uh, we can now navigate into Debian and of course because we downloaded WordPress we don't need to copy paste copy paste and download install after we ex execute the script we can now we can now install WordPress that's it that's it guys and uh, oh, as you can see, based on the script here, that the default is for default for DB is WordPress, all WordPress. So you can uh, put that here and submit. All right, Sparky. Okay, and the WordPress is now installed. So guys, if you are into multiplayer and you suck at net, I want to introduce you just a little bit of time. I want to introduce to you my project. Our project is called USAC. It is, it is a real-time by directional event-based and callback-oriented uh, server for your multiplayer game or even your chat application. Visit us on usacnet.bicecrafter.net for more information. And thank you guys for watching. And please like the video if you like it. And comment, share, and please subscribe. And see you again next time.